You see, this is Ibophobia. Ibophobia, Ibophobia. If you haven't believed that this Ibophobia is a real game, better you start believing. Better you start believing it. We must be very careful about our life. You don't live your life forcing yourselves into somebody's life. It is very bad. That shows you're a man or a woman without vision or without self-confidence. This word I am saying here now, I want to direct this word especially to our political elites that come from Eastern Regional uh, Territory of that uh, Nigeria originally known as Biafran Territory. We all heard about, uh, of what uh, uh, Chief Ola, Ola Bode George, one of the respected uh, political figure in Yoruba land, how he was vibrating and accusing the Igbos and the IPOP. This time around, when they want to use a hate speech for Igbos, after they may have done that, they will not add IPOP in other way to gain sympathy. But I want to ask, in my very convincing uh, this um, uh, ideology, I haven't seen where IPOP discriminate right from when our leader was a free man. I haven't seen where IPOP is discriminating. Either in Radio Biafra by the our leader himself or by any IPOP member or any IPOP media warrior. We are not discriminating anybody. I urge all every race in Nigeria to go back to Radio Biafra or go to the pages of IPOP uh, media warriors and checkmate themselves properly. What we said is Nigeria will not work being together. That is not a discriminatory statement. It's like when somebody says, Oh, you marrying to this person, this person will hinder you of having uh, success you wish to yourself. And it's like that. There are somebody you will get married to or attach yourself to. You go nowhere. This is very, very simple. This, this, this statement is understandable by the white, it's understandable by the Indians, by the Asians, by the Europeans, by the Americans, by the Africans. There are people you will be with. Maybe you have different ideology, this one have different ideology. You go nowhere, you walk, you will not, you will not move anywhere. The only way you will do to achieve what you want to achieve in life is to separate yourself very gently. Separate, somebody separating himself from somebody is never a sign of hate. It's also a sign of love, in other way, for peace to reign. For peace to reign. This is why sometimes you see people doing joint business. At a point in time, maybe their joint food gesture is not working as they planned. In other way, for peace to restore within them, they will separate themselves. You and immediately they do that, you see them that respect that have disappeared within them. We come back again. This one we begin to respect this one. This one we begin to respect this one. We have calculated this thing and we have studied this thing. We say no. If we continue like this, the hate and the discrimination will continue to increase day by day. And the future of our children will be endangered. We say, okay, come to the table, let us initiate referendum so that people will willingly, from the bottom of their heart, choose where what they want. This is not a call for war. Why I'm saying this thing? I want every I want every senator from the Eastern Zone. And the House of Rep members from the Eastern Zone, if they, if they claim they are representing the people of Eastern region, it is now they are going to prove it. 
because they have done this thing politically in a politically method now they are doing it now physically there are something they call should in case if they don't know but i know that most of them know they are just being wicked and being useless at the same time because sometimes you may be doing something for selfish interest but you within yourself and your colleagues they are looking at you as a very foolish man who are in this stage or in that situation keep on missing themselves with those of their colleagues i don't think any reasonable fellow from the eastern region today called himself political elite should be insisting in working in one nigeria this thing is very open look at the how the northern elders are crying because they miss their target and what which people made them miss their target ipop because we see we have the intel which other people may not have you see ipop have become like a central intelligence agents in this world and what gives us this kind of opportunity because we have members everywhere like i do say many people don't know how deep ipop is in ipop most of the principal servants in ipop most of them are police officers in europe most of them are marine of uh, uh, personnel in us most of them are police officers even in britain most of them are uh, what do you call it uh, secret agents even in, in britain where the world where we can describe as developed world so do you think that these people will be there in ipop then we will allow our people to enter trouble when they release the information to us we pass it out to our people and say no don't participate in this thing do you see the reason why ipuob call out all the market leaders in our land in biafra land call all the village leaders and said do not participate in this uh, nationwide protest when peter b went and met abia state governor there is something abia state governor told him about territorial tell him can't you listen to the to the to the population of the of people of eastern region listening to them who are this man referring as the population who do you think that that man was referring at population peter b wanted to misunderstood him he said no listening to the population we are the politician the people who who are supposed to agitate are saying that they, they are not ready to do that with other part of nigerians because they rejected them during the time of election i want to i want people to ask it to be thousands of our people that was more than did not you know many people don't know this secret during that 2023 election do you know how many hundreds of thousands of Igbos that were more than the not and we are buried in the north secretly because people be don't want to go there so that people will not be looking at him that he caused the death of majority of the Igbos in the north but why i'm doing this thing i want to remind i want to remind other politicians how they have keep on endangering the life of average biafrans in nigeria it is not fair because of your own interest you are killing other people's son you are killing other people's daughter you are killing other people's father you are killing other people's mother just to have what you want there is no senator today that from eastern region either from Akwaibom, either from uh, Bayasa to the to every other state in Biafra land that doesn't know that Nigeria will not work but what have made them not to do what they call work out protest work out protest is is a lawful act is a lawful act in every nation if you are in this nation now maybe things are not going well with our region People representing that region have every right to do work at protest from the chamber. That work at protest will call the attention of the president, call the attention of other stakeholders of the nations, and say, ah, you know, in a law, there is no way we can be in a House of Assembly or Senate House can champion without this part be represented by their people. So now they have work out, we can run this nation 
without their presence. So I want people, I want the youth, I want to teach you politics. When I say that freedom fighting, if you don't know politics, you cannot fight it. That's why many people were misleaded when Mazin Nandikano got problem. They begin to make so much noise. I told them, I said, this is not noise. Freedom fighting is not noise. It's a strategy. The word I said to somebody, with, he said, all these ones are politicians. I said, let me tell you something. If you are fighting for freedom, at the end of the day, you will still come back to that political class. What is that political class? Negotiation is politics. Dialogue is politics. Terms and conditions is, is politics. You don't do terms and conditions with a gun and bullet, you know. You will drop your gun, I will drop my own. They will not end up discussing. Discussion is what? Politics. That is why my wish in this struggle is that instead of us to go around the bush, after enough bloodshed of innocent people, we will not end up in politics. Why can't we start from the politics, which is negotiation, which is civil engagement, which is politics, civil engagement. Like as I'm doing now, what I'm doing now, this attention of our lawmakers that I'm calling now, is part of it. Everything is not fight, 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 fight. The Ibophobia initiation by some Yoruba political elite and elders. They can't hide it again. Now they have seen the consequences because some international community are asking them, what are you doing? Do you know you are committing crime? That is why you see Lagos State Governor. The, 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 the statement of distancing his government from Ibo must go. Did not just come, did not just happen like that. We know where the pressure came from. The pressure have come from England. The pressure have come from other part of Europe. Are you profiling these people? Is it not the same people you said you want them to be with you in Nigeria? And we, we the European Union, are trying to make sure that they stay. We, have, we are looking for solution. We are wasting the solution. That was the reason why he rushed to the media and tried to do damage control. I call it damage control. Are you doing damage control? Who is a baby here? Nobody is a baby. Nobody is a baby here. But then George said it that Ebos, when he measured the Ebos, when he went to end up his statement of that video, he said I pop. In other words, somebody have signaled him, don't measure Ebos, measure I pop so that we will gain sympathy. But are you mentioning I pop? Have tell me the, any crime I pop have committed. Even the even the Funani, nobody is chasing Funani away in our land. The only people we chase away. Don't we have the Funanis doing their cow business? We have Funanis who have ranches in 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 in, in, Abhyas, in, uh, in, in Biafra land. We have them. Go and verify. Then we have other Funanis who are criminals who don't want to do the ranching. They prefer staying inside the bush, kidnapping and raping. These are the Funanis we are after. The Funa, we call them Funan terrorists. Go to our market in Enugu. Go to our market in Anambra. Go to our market in Abia State. We have our sons who live there permanently, who live, who rent house, live with the midst of the people. Nobody is after them, nobody is touching them. Go and ask them. If you ask them, they will tell you the Igbos are the most lovely people. Those ones will tell you the truth. Who IPOP is fighting against? IPOP is not fighting against them. They know. IPOP is fighting the criminals within those rays of the Funanese, which is sponsored by the political elite of the Funanese. Every problem that is being generated in that Nigeria is not coming from civil or the ordinary civilians of Nigeria. It's always coming from the political class of Nigeria. This Igbo, Igbo must go. Which people started it? Lagos State Governor during the time of election. Now you want to now you see that that thing is that thing will crumble your land. It will bring your land to zero. It's like now some people outside the country from the Yoruba side have talked to him and said, "So you want our people to suffer if Ibos leave? 
who do you think that we that we boost boost their economy? How do they survive? That is why you see him now trying to revise. But he, he was the one who initiated this hate against the Igbo during the time of election. And he forgot that everybody, most of those guys they are using, they are not educated. These are the these are the people who have never walked into a classroom before in their life. Whatever you tell them, they bear it in mind. They carry it, they move. They can't return nothing back. You have told them anywhere you see Ibo, kill Ibo, destroy their things, do this, do this, do that, well, during the time of election, maybe, probably you give them 10,000, 20,000, 20, all, all the world they want is to go and smoke and sleep with prostitutes, this local roadside prostitute. that's all. Now you use them. Now they have initiated what you instructed them to do. Now you are revising, try to make amendment. But the people I am talking to now in this video, I want the Eastern Regional politicians from next week, if you have uncle in politics, from next week, I want all the IPOP media warriors to basically hit on this thing. I want every meaning beyond France, either you are IPOP member, you are not IPOP member, to hit on this tissue so that the life of our people can have meaning in that Africa. If I want every politicians who claim that they are representing people from the Eastern region to make a workout protest from next week to show us that yes they are representing the people but without this we will tag that politicians as one of the enemy of the surviving of our people enough is enough because where this thing is, look at what is happening in the north a, an Igbo officer called me he said look at what they did in this protest they carried them go to Kanu. They dropped all the, they selected all the Igbo officers to can to, to not. And they, they take gun away from them. Tell them that nobody face protesters with gun. You can see the evidence. An officer called me yesterday and I was sad. He said they took gun away from them and tell them that they should use hand tear gas only and the button. In other way, so that they will not hurt the protesters. Now, look at what happened in Kanu. And there's a video I was watching. That one was flogging police officer. And our sub boy was flogging police officer with a with heavy stick. The officers start running. And when I look at them, all the officers that were running there, nobody is with gun. They start running, to their, going to their vehicle to zoom off. This is why the looting is going on in the north. Look at what they plan against the Igbos, have turned against them. This is why we told our people, don't go, don't join them. Then we encourage our people to go back into agriculture. Since the economy is not fair to anybody, the only thing we can survive is self-sufficient food. It's important. It's okay. Go back to agriculture. But thank God that our people massively listening to the IPOB directive. They went back to agriculture. Today, nobody will complain about too much hunger in the East. Yes, I can tell you that. People really massively go back to, the, uh, to, to agriculture. Now, it's the sitting on them because Boko Haram and the ISIS and the Meheti Allah are preventing them from cultivating in the North. They are killing the farmers there. So farmers have run away. So the, 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 the hunger is much in the north and in the Yoruba land. Because since they said they want to live with the Funani henchmen, the terrorists, well, it's okay, it's your choice. But in our own land, we will not live with them. We will only live with the Awasas and the Funani who meant well for the society. But the terrorists, we can never live because we know that terrorists have nothing to offer than destruction. Since their political elite from the Yoruba land and the north, because of politics, they want to pretend that terrorists now can be welcome into the system. It's always so. It's your choice. Welcome them. Because we know in the mindset of a terrorist, you have nothing to offer.
Only what they have on table to offer is bloodshed, 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 killing, destruction. And this is why we are asking the Eastern regional politicians who are in the House of Rep, Senate, to do workouts, protests out of the house and never to go back there again until everybody come back to the table and say, how do you want this place to be? Let the people decide. Any of them that fail to do this thing, I think K-pop should be hitting hard on this on these people. The leadership should, please, I am making this as a suggestion. The leadership should step up in this matter. The leadership of IPO should step up in this matter and reach out to them by letters so that they will not say nobody pay them respect. At least, respect is a reciprocal. Let us do it in a manner of respect. I want the leadership of IPOB. From next week, if they can draft, if they can draft letters, official letters to all the governors in Biafra land, to acquire boom to everywhere, and they direct these letters to the Senate members and the House of Rep members. I'll also issue a letter to the, all our traditional rulers from all the Uhobi Afra territory. Send it officially to them. That everybody representing, participating in politics of Nigeria should do work at protests from the chamber. In other way, to discuss the future of people and their security is very, very important. I keep on saying it. Everything is not about fight, 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 abuse, abuse, abuse. No. Things don't work out in this manner. Things don't work out in this manner. That's why I said, when Mazen and the panel will come out, you will not see that IPOP has been positioned to the, into the hands of professionals. Perfect professionals in the time of engaging in the freedom that meet up to the world standard. Not those people who were following him, who Nigeria government agent, who, who they are the Nigeria government agent, confusing him misleading him sometimes until they delivered him into the hands of Nigeria. That's what they did to him. Everybody has seen it today. Where he is now, he has realized his mistake, he has realized everything. The same Alloy, Alloy de Jimako, is he not the one now is trying to escape out of Nigeria? Alloy de Jimako is trying to run away. Because he has messed up everything. He has done his job, he has done his part, he has collected his money. Now he is seeking a place to run to. Because he's under pressure. Because they told him. Because that program, I, 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 I anchored la, la, this last program. I said everything the way it is. People say, no, why should I say, I should I, I shouldn't. Some people called me, why? I say, no, you people, are, you don't know anything. By telling me, why should I say such thing like that? I say, no. We must hit the nail by the head. Because if you keep on saying, let peace reign, let peace reign, uh, let peace reign, at the end of the day, if anything happened to that man, you people will start beginning a, a blame game. The same thing you did when he went to Kenya. And no IPOP member is aware that he went to Kenya. No leadership was aware. No, not even the US. Mazen Nandekan was busy boycotting IPOP. When you boycott something that you formed, is it not a betrayer? We must say it the way it is. But people say, oh, well, I am, you couldn't have said this. We demoralize some people. Let those, let people, those, those people who want to be demoralized be demoralized. I don't care. We don't need crowd to restore Biafra. What we need is selected, sensible, and the brave men and women. 
We don't listen. We don't need even two thousand soul to restore Biafra. We need on. We need even fifty or forty. That we go to the direct question. That we go to the direct. That we take the direct uh, 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 step. The meaningful step and restore what we want. We don't need gri 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 gri. Empty chaffs. No, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need the empty chaps. We need solid men and women who understand the single steps of freedom to get Biafra. Not noisemakers. We don't need noise. That's why I respect the, 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 the head of uh, DOS, Master Chikedozim. Everybody wants to hear his voice. Ignore everybody. Doing what he's doing. Perfectly. Making the move perfectly. Ignoring you. Because if it is not about noise. Whoa, 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 because we, this noise of nonsense thing have mastered us right from our childhood. If you go to our market noise, this one will be opening his speaker. This, side, this one will be singing gospel music. He's selling, he's selling, he's selling music. This one will be... This one, this one will be, if you go to our church, the same noise. When you pick up microphone, ah, 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 as if that God we are discussing or we are relating to is a is a deaf God. Just empty. No, come to Europe and go to church. Come to America and come to church. You pass in front of church, you won't even notice that church is there. You won't even notice that church is the God not answering their prayer. Is God not answering them? Is your place that you are shall we that you have learned noise making? Is are them are we our, our place are, is it better than their place? Their place is developed. I even I beginning to understand that God will hear silent and quiet prayer than that noise making. That noise making shows sign of disrespect to God. It shows sign of disrespect, which means can you talk to your father while you are shouting? I was a white man was asking me the other day. And the reason what he said, he said, can you, if, okay, he said, your daughter come to you and shout, be shouting, daddy, daddy, I need $1,000. Will you give to him? Will, will you give to her? I said, never. I will check if, if that my daughter is insane by shouting on me to give her $1,000. Very strategic. He said, but what, when that your daughter come with play play, her daddy, he, she may even hold your neck, her daddy, please. I need I need this money. With gentle voice. He said, what will you do? Your heart will melt. You will give it to her. And this is exactly how God works. God is a father to all creation. So I believe, I strongly believe by the time you quietly use microphone and lead prayer in church, I tell somebody, you lead prayer, oh, let us pray for, for, for grace, let us pray for mercy, let us pray, not by shouting. Everybody start praying quietly. I bring the angels of God will descend in that, in that communion and answer everybody their prayers. But when you are violent praying, God will say, these ones are mad. They are not with me. They, are big, they, are, they don't have respect for me. That is why we want noise. We want those who use uh, empty word, like autopilot. They will they will make decree today. Tomorrow they will make another decree. In 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 one in one month they will make hundred decree, and all the decree is empty. Not not no nothing. Nobody is there. Nobody is after them because they have known them as nonsense people. Now I want to use that autopilot. Too much talk, talk, and too much decree. I declare this from next week. This one will happen in Biafra. Well, this one, this, don't you know that that is how agent provocateur signed by government? That is their character. That is how they work. It's the same thing. Use that their character. Use that. Nobody is listening to them anymore. Nobody is paying attention to their nonsense anymore. That is exactly how heaven is not listening to the Nigerian church's prayer because of noise. 
Because they make too much noise. Ask yourself, why somebody who is in Africa will suffer and suffer and suffer for many years and pray and pray? It seems that prayer is not answering. Moment he touched leg in abroad here, where there is no noise in churches of prayers here, that person's life will be different. Because everything is not prayer, prayer. We must face reality sometimes. When they come, there is a job opportunity. There is a hustling opportunity. If you don't want to work and receive salary, you have a place where government have created where everybody will go and hustle and pay their tax. There is a place where our, our people, open market here in this land, in this Brazil, where our people, early morning, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 1 a.m. in the morning, they are there putting their clothes on the ground to sell early in the morning. Those who sell clothes, Shoes, some people, some of them say shoes, some of them say all manner of article. Before 6 a.m. in the morning, most of them have make money. That they that we saw that we you know enough money that even salary Anna cannot even even make. Go and ask. Because the rules and regulation of that place is on the road. That place, government can allow you to operate in the midnight stroke morning. Moment is seven o'clock. You see the government officials coming out, and those people begin to pack their pack their market. They begin to tie the market. Begin to dismiss. But look at how government did it. Government ignored them during that midnight. Because government know that these people have to eat. They ignored them during that midnight. But moment is seven. When they Company owners, because the same thing, company people has shops there, shopping. They have a, a boutique. What those people on the road are selling is what those people are selling. So, government are helping these people to come operate in the night when those people, those ones have closed. Then when those ones, those ones open, government come to intervene for those ones because they know those ones that have stock have to sell and pay their tax as well. Then drive these ones so that these ones will not be a hindrance to them. Do you see? They are not arresting anybody. They are not. If it's in Nigeria, they will frustrate those ones selling in the midnight. Police will, police will come there and be collecting bribe. Local government chairman will send his boys to come and collect bribe. Uh, Igbo will send his son, their boys to come and collect bribe. Uh, I don't know. Frustration. They will not frustrate those people. That is why we are fighting for a nation where everybody will have opportunity, equal opportunity. If you don't want to work for a company, you hustle and make money and pay tax to the government. If you are not paying tax to the government, no government will not come after you. That is how you work in abroad. They will not come after you. But mind you, any day that something you want to do, they will not ask you to go and bring your tax clearance. Imagine you did not pay tax for 10 years and something have hooked you and you need this thing. Without this, they cannot operate in this country. And they are not telling you to go and bring the tax clearance of 10 years because they know you are here for 10 years you can't deny it your database is reading that you are here and they see that 10 years you are done better they will not demand it that time you will not start running around gathering money to go and pay tax because you must pay if you don't pay they are not telling you that they are going to give you they have given you the uh, the 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 the, the criteria that will lead you to get what you are demanding for so it is up to you either you provide it and come and get what you want or you do not provide it I'm staying empty. Whenever you're ready and provided it, they will give you what you want. Nobody's slapping anybody. Nobody's putting handcuffs on you. Nobody's killing you. Nobody's shooting you. Nobody's beating you. No. Sense. White people operate with sense. White black man operate with muzzle. And the sense is bigger, sense is more stronger than muzzle. Use your brain. Please, let all the politicians representing the people of the Eastern region take action immediately and discuss how Nigeria will be. Let, Nigeria will never be good. If anybody tell you that uh, this one will come, it will make Nigeria. No, Nigeria can, anybody who is telling you is evil, Nigeria can never be good. And this is why I told somebody that there is no church in Nigeria because church has the power. They have, if the, the church could have come together, because their church is separated. Uh, Christ Embassy does not, they are not in good terms with uh, 
winners. Winners are not in good terms with redeem. Redeem are not in good terms with uh, uh, with salvation uh, salvation ministry. Salvation ministry is not in good terms with uh, 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 a more ministry. A more ministry are not in good terms with this. This is division. They can't achieve anything. That's why I say these people. This what this thing they open is nonsense. To me, it's nonsense. They are not serving. God's present is not. God's presence have left. Because where there is no collaboration and love to each other, the same people that say we are serving the same God, which means there is nothing. You That is empty house. It have turned to a house of hustling. The way churches are in Nigeria, they have the power to change Nigeria. But they can't do it because they are divided. They are divided. This is what I'm talking about. This is why we say, let us come to the table and initiate referendum. Let everybody go on their territory and mind their territory. Then if I want to live in Yoruba land, I will obey the law of the Yorubas. If I want to live in the north, I will obey the law. Of Islamic law, if the one they want to run the if Islamic government, I will know that I'm going to Islamic nation to stay. Then I will obey every single of their law. But they can't tell me that uh, we are one Nigeria and you tell me to not display my Igbo freeborn character. If I come there, I will drink beer for road. If you touch me, we fight. You shed my blood, I shed your blood. Because you say you give me the right because my in my own area, I can drink beer anywhere I want. In my own area, I can go out with my wife or my girlfriend and I kiss the woman on the road. But in your own Islamic area, it's not allowed. So you cannot force it to me when you say we are one. But you can only force it to me when we have separated. If I violate the law that I know that I am looking for trouble that time, you jail me. And nobody will talk. Because you are, you are, doing, you are keeping your law. This is very simple. Thank you, everybody. I thank you all for joining this short uh, broadcast. God bless you all. That's what I want to just dish out this morning from here. God bless you and a happy Sunday to all our Christian brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and brothers and uncles. Uh, thank you all while we keep on pushing on what we are pushing. Always be prayerful and be watchful as well. Thank you.